Hello, welcome back to Took Scrap Table. How's everyone doing? Welcome back to Took Scrap Table and welcome to all my new subscribers and thank you so so much to all my long time uh, subscribers who's been here with me and welcome to the new one and hope you will enjoy the share on my channel. Today we are going to <clears throat> start um, making the cover, uh, this similar cover to this. So I have everything out um, so that we, I will go through what we need. Um, you're gonna need some fabric. You want a good, uh, strong and thick one. I have here is um, tea towel. This is the leftover from that one. This is exactly the same uh, uh, fabric that I used to have one to, for that one. And then this is what I'm going to use today. Um, so I think, I think this could be the back. How do I make this to be the back? Yeah, so that's going to be the the fabric um, so you're gonna see some pattern through just so so make sure you choose um, you don't have to have the pattern fabric but I thought it would look so nice like this in the back and this is the size you're gonna cut these um, you're gonna cut 12 inches wide and um, seven and a half inches uh, tall and then um, this is to allow one and a half inches spine this is for three signatures if you're only gonna do two signatures you only need uh, one inch here and then your piece gonna be eleven and a half uh, inches long okay so that's the measurement and if you want to pause and screenshot and first step we are gonna need um, white gesso to coat all over the the fabric we're gonna need um, so make sure you you lay this is gonna be the top because this is how you're gonna fold and this is gonna be like that okay and you're gonna need heavy gesso. It's, I have here um, heavy gesso by um, Finnebear. And then you're gonna need either a spatula or some card to scrape. And that's our first step. And then once this dry, we're gonna need to spray some ink. What I pick out here, this is what I use. Um, uh, speckled egg, salvage patina, and uh, pure paint. If you don't have and broken china and uh, tattered rose, if you don't have this, use your what you have. Use your theme uh, color that you like. This is my my color that I like the the. So you can use um, ink pad uh, to wrap on. That's up to you. And then I have um, I have um, white gouache that gouache how you pronounce it gouache 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 <laughs> and I just add um, cup water in here to make a splash and uh, and then I have uh, permanent ink pick stem of what you you like so I have this stem that I will be using. And then uh, some napkin for decoupage. This is the stuff that I pick out. This is the pattern that I pick out from, you know, if you want the same napkin pattern, you go to the shop and pick out. And then I have um, copper leaf and gold leaf. You don't need these, you, but I just, and then I have the glue for it so you don't need that step if you if you don't have so don't go out and buy and then in here I have um, 
just paper that I think I will do the collage image for the cover and I have some bling from Sheila shop <laughs> and then this is the image that I pick out it's also in my uh, freebie in my Kofi and then some paper and uh, some uh, handkerchief <laughs> and then some bits and bob and that I might need. I don't need all of these so I just pulled out so so I have it ready on my desk and then some fussy cut of flower or anything that you like to for decorate. So and then some proper glue. Oh I, I found this glue by Unique. Um, uh, I think it's fabric. I got it from fabric store. It's clear tack craft glue. It's exactly as a three-in-one and this is flu four fluid ounce bottle is six something dollar Canadian so it's um about almost two dollars cheaper than a three-in-one just so you know <laughs> if you can't find a three-in-one in your area you might find these in your fabric store yeah so Let's start with the gesso. We need. That's why I I said that it's a lot of um, drying time required and a messy that de uh, death. So uh, see how how um, heavy that is, right? It's almost like a modeling paste. You probably could use modeling paste, but I don't think it will dry. Um, flexible as gesso. I think gesso give you that that choice of being flexible when it dry and not so hard. And oh also you're gonna need a modeling paste and stencil of your choice if you want to add um, the extra texture to to the cover. And don't worry about the wrinkle. You I think um it it add add character to to the fabric so so how are you all doing oh I think I got everything under control now <laughs> hope so but um, next Tuesday we have to be away all day because we both have doctor appointment and then get some flu shot before we um, travel. It's going to be our first flu shot ever. Well, I think my husband had flu shot before, but I, I never have one. Because I don't... I'm not a big on all the vaccine that is not an accessory. I mean, especially flu shot. When, when you're younger, you can fight it off, right? But when you're getting old... You probably need some help. <laughs> so getting the vaccine probably a good idea. You know, knock on wood. Um, I don't usually get a cold that, or flu e that easy. I mean, when my husband out working, I do get it often. And then I got it from him. But now we both home quite up like most of the time so we we're doing pretty well so it's a big um big adjustment for us I mean for for my husband because for me I have been out of work for so long been what four five six years since I work <laughs> I stopped working yeah so but for my husband this is his first year so this is what we're gonna do um 
doesn't need to be um, nice and neat. Okay, just make sure you get it covered, but but not like um, a thick cover. Because we want texture of the fabric. And this is a um, linen cotton blend fabric. So just so you know um, what type of fabric. So you get um, a nice layer, I mean nice feel and stiffness from the gesso once it dry. And um, I like um, backing with other piece of fabric but you don't have to if if your turn out to be stiff enough um, to be a stand alone cover you you don't need the backing piece but I like to back my cover so that it's strong yeah so that's it that's that's it um I mean you can make it thicker in some area kind of like a modeling Pace, but you don't have to but just make sure you cover them so that when it dry um, you know when some area doesn't have the gesso it might be weaker or soft and then it might feel a little awkward make sure it's all covered but it doesn't have to be um, need level or or smooth right so yeah so that's it so I will pause and let this dry and we'll continue to our next step oh my goodness Okay, with magic of um, video and <laughs> and the heat dry, <clears throat> it's a little damp, but it's not completely dry. So I'm bringing in this spray paint. And have a um, bottle of wa water for spraying. So I just spray anywhere. I just don't have formula or pattern. And make sure the color that you like. And then quickly add water. And then just let it run. If it's not um, super runny, you can add. And then if the water, if the color too strong, you can al always um, just so back, right? So. gonna heat dry this Okay, I think it's dry enough. This step, we're gonna add some stamps. So now we make sure we have checking. This is gonna be the top cover. So we, we're gonna have something cover here so we won't focus on that part. Whoa. 
Okay, I I gave another uh, run of the heat gun and clean up my stamp because it, the gesso didn't dry, so still damp down here. Um, so I use stays on um, cleaner to clean it and it clean. <laughs> I think. So let's see. I just refill the ink so here I, I didn't want to wear my brace because I don't want to get gesso on it <laughs> oh dear Okay, I think maybe on the edge here because it won't get cover. Oh, did you hear my wrist just crack? <laughs> that's how I think that's how I wreck my my wrist. So, the next step, I'm going to put on my gold leaf and copper leaf. And, but this time, I'm going to leave it to dry. Oh, this is, they are, this is the smallest size of glue I can find, but they are, they don't need, you don't need a lot of that, so... Anywhere you feel when it dry, it will dry tacky. So I won't remember where I put the glue, but you will see um, sometime it will shiny spot that you can see. So there, that's all I need and I'm going to let it dry and while I let it dry we could um, collage the image that's going to go on the cover okay and these need to go in the water jar right away okay I'm going to put on my rad <laughs> there Next is we can collage. Oh, what a messy hand. So we will get the fabric first. How this is linen. And what's the size that we want? Let's see. It's about three and a quarter by by five and a quarter. Three and a quarter by five and a quarter. Okay. This is yeah. if I could continue. Oh, I 
I'd love to have this at the top or the bottom. That would look nice. Three and a quarter, right? I said. make it bigger if you want um, but I think this is a nice size some paper, music paper, some bling and we don't need this yet we need some of these some of these so I'm just gonna bring them out this is how I work so I can see what I have I like to have these at the bottom and maybe like that and I love these somehow we should incorporate see I'd save all of these um, little bit that I cut off like and this is also linen so this we should put these on a piece of paper first this is rack paper. gonna save some of these to make some lace adding I always like to add some snippet to my piece so that would be nice like that I would definitely use these piece and maybe incorporate some rose in my collage Maybe some up here. Some here. And a little one I saw. Yeah. That will look nice, right? I think that that's I want to do something like that. Okay. Let's see if I can remember. In here, I want to use glue that will not, um, that will stay, uh, not pop up when it wet. Let me grab this because, so which mean I use three in one. If I can get it out, <laughs> and I also gonna sew this piece so it doesn't has to be 
this is getting really thick now this glue I might use the clinic one I mean unique one yeah it won't come out it's almost empty anyway Fast forward this step if you already like get some idea what need to be done here. Oh my goodness. Did I get a package or something? Why would I <laughs> I always think when he bark I he see somebody come to the house. It's not e e it's not um, not difficult. I'm say gonna say it's easy, pretty easy, isn't it? I mean, um, my collage, what I what I stick with is whatever you put down, a any piece that you put down, it has to connect somehow. The piece need to be connect to each other. Like you can't put one piece here and one piece here um, and it look weird so that's why I mean some people say use three uh, three point or that's for focal point right but to collage uh, I think more than three piece three piece or more will make it look uh, more uh, balanced and so, but uh, truly is really up to you how you like. But for me, my rule is all the pieces have to connect. So, I'm gonna pause and do fussy cut out all these rows. I mean, they all fussy cut out, but I like to get the as close as I can to the image, the flower. So I think I'll make the big one down here. This one here. And the little one there. And then come in our bit and piece. I like this piece a lot. I like to incorporate it in maybe here. Whoops. And then that one there. Do you ever remember your dream? I always remember my dream and <laughs> and my husband think that I'm weird. Oh, yeah, so. Why would it be weird, right? So that, not too much. Hmm. And then we can add some bling. Whoa. <laughs> the one mirror. Maybe up here. Oh yeah, that's so pretty. Or here. No. I think... Yeah, right there, it's pretty. So I'm gonna cut it. It's always nice to have some bling to, to these, right? Okay. Oh, hmm, no. How about here? No. 
on here, too big on here. I have a little flower that I want to put in the center. These are from um, Sheila Moho Daydream. She made beautiful bundle for this bling and sari. Yeah, that's so pretty. <clears throat> I think I'm gonna put it up. I don't know. I don't know. This is so hard. Oh. How about down here? Yes? Hmm. Ah, this is hard. This is hard. Or maybe no bling? No bling. Yeah, no bling and then I will have add the uh, texture here and then <clears throat> sorry my crooked voice and then I will add um, two more flower here yeah why won't I do that okay and that way we got bling here and then bling here. Yeah, look better that way, I think. Okay, let's add these. This is like already oozed out. So, because of um, uh, fab uh, paper and fabric um, collage, you might want to use like a, a proper like glue that will stay stick to it, and then uh, we're gonna add some moisture to these so so I'm gonna move this out a bit and then we will do the bottom layer first I might move this up a bit yeah and then this one I'm gonna run this through a sewing machine, which is I'm just gonna run around the the what you call the image. You know what? I'm gonna do it now. Okay. Okay. I did a very wonky stitch, and the thread is white. So now I'm gonna ink the thread. So, it doesn't show that much. Hmm. Yeah, I should have changed the thread. I should have. No, I'm gonna. <laughs> Never get lazy. I am too lazy. Okay. So far, this is what we got. Now, this is already dry. <laughs> Add more. Okay, and then we're going to have this big one. You could fray the, um, the flower a little bit so it doesn't look like so smooth and neat.
I might add some new wood drop to this because it has some water drop here so I might add new wood drop on top of that so make it look like a real um, water drop yeah and that's um in these we're just gonna add some glue And the piece will be done. Ready for to add to the cover when the cover is done. I mean dry. And then we will add some gold leaf to it. Okay, now where's my dirty cloth? It always ooze out, isn't it? Okay, now our top piece is done. Oh, this, I love to add these to, oh, you know what? It looks so much like a water drop. Oh my goodness, <laughs> glue everywhere. Oh, that looks so cute there, hold on. need a little teeny bit drop and there we go oh my goodness they're everywhere I am the messy crafter ever oops I meant to have it down 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 Is it? No. I got it correct. Hmm. Okay. I look very pretty. And now we're gonna put this aside. Make sure everything down and I'll get the final brush to the flower. Oh, I'm so bugging me with the white thread. <laughs> but what can you do, right? Oh, she's so pretty. It's not focusing. Yeah, but I love it. I love how it turned out. Okay, let's check on the cover. Okay, I think we can add we can add some gold leaf and some of um, copper leaf. I got these from Home Sense oh many years ago, three four years ago, and then this is from Dollar Store, which has come in like a, a messy flake <laughs> like that. And this is the Mod Posh brush I, I have. So I'm just gonna sprinkle it. I have no idea where the glue are. So I'm just gonna sprinkle down randomly. This is, and we just gonna move, move them around. Oh, this is big one. The glue is so tacky and sticky so you will you won't miss it. I thought it would be nice to have two tone so
Okay. Okay, that's all we need. We don't need a lot, so this pack like go a long way, so like quite a bit. I'm sure you can find it on Amazon. <clears throat> I know they at Dollar Store have uh, silver and gold, but I, I haven't seen copper on, on Amazon yet, but I'm sure you can get it no problem. So... Yeah, so it's still tacky up here, so I might press one of these down. You can check if um if you miss any. It will be tacky, so. Yeah, so that's the step. So we're gonna do some decoupage a little bit. This is how it's gonna look. Oh, it looks so pretty already. Right? So, okay. So we're gonna leave that there. And we will put in some decoupage. I mean, you can add some fabric to add some texture to the back. It's up to you. Or, oh, that is pretty. Or over oh, here. No. Too much? Yeah. Later, later. We'll see how the decoupage went. So I was thinking of hold on, get my water brush. fill it up so I mean it's pretty there oops and maybe something up there and a little bit up here and then we'll have should we do one bird or two birds should do two right we should not let the bird be alone. Okay, let's get our bird out. I think we could start from up here. And It's too straight for me, so I want to. And then I lost his tail. <laughs> okay. Let's see where we want the bird and where we want the flower. I just like um, some flower that that has some, you know, if you tear the edge, it blend in well with whatever the 
the background is. I try to get as close as I can to the flower. And we will have one right there. about these two that coming out from here no you know what I'm going in from this end yeah so I'm gonna grab this one going to cut out this part okay now I just have to remember <laughs> where I want to put the stuff Okay, and we might want to have some one there. How about these? Yeah, that would look good there. We have to take this part off. Wow! Too much water! At the corner up there. And... Now we should start gluing it before I forget. This is just white glue and water. If I could open it. So I'm going to start with the bird. And hopefully we can see through the gold and the copper that we just put down. I will put music on and speed it up.
Okay, I think I have enough. <laughs> it's a bit much here, but I think it looks so shabby chic, right? It's so pretty. Okay, now I'm going to put this piece down and we will call the day. Uh, why did I do that? <laughs> and then the next video, we will be uh, picking out pages and then uh, sewing the signature. We're gonna go at a high speed. <laughs> So I hope everyone enjoy and, you know, have, um, you just use what you have, right? You don't have to go out and buy everything and, you know, and the paper that I will be using mostly, um, gonna be book page. I'm, go I'm not going to use any digital on this, um, this journal, so... It's all gonna be book page and, and it's gonna be bird and botanical as you can see. Thing. Hold on, it's gonna be the cover I mean it's gonna be five and and a quarter. Five and a quarter, so it's gonna be here so Try to make it center. Here we go. Simple. Well, it's not simple. It's a lot of process, but nothing new that you don't know yet. So I just love collaging um, napkin together. <clears throat> yeah, so. I will let this dry and um, that's why I put down um, gold leaf anywhere because we don't know where it's gonna land or end so I might be adding more here because of uh, and here because I can see the spot and then maybe here it's see-through um, it's a lot here but I can still see through here when it dry you're gonna see it more but I might add here, here, and here. Otherwise, um, yeah, so we'll see you in the next video. We're gonna put on the signature. Okay, have fun, bye.